بیالیس منٹ ٹھیک ہے جعفر کے مطابق سات بج کر ستاون منٹ آئیے دیکھتے ہیں کوئی عزب اللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ونس اگین تھینکس ٹو اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ان دا بلاسنگ منتھ آف رمضان وی آر ان دا رمضان کوئز وائز کمپٹیشن اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ہیو ٹو ایکسائٹنگ ٹیمس اینڈ دوز آر ملتن متقین اسپانسرڈ بائی دا نان گائز اینڈ تھینک یو خالد بائی ونس اگین اینڈ دے ہیو امیزنگ امیزنگ نانس کیما نانس اینڈ ادر ٹائپ نانس ڈونٹ فرگیٹ ٹو ٹرائی ود دیم ان ان دا افطار اور ان سیری Or we have Mrs. Saga Moments for sponsored by Quality Care Pharmacy in the Newman Center, Dandas. Thank you, Safdar Bhai, for helping us and taking this project to the next steps. And I really appreciate all my sponsors. Open My Cafe, Secret Hand Canada, Ikna Relief Canada, and we have also Dean Associates, and we have Style and Stretch, and they have an amazing product. They are launching in this year already. Zaim Ji, don't forget to go there in the Newman Center. They are located there and they have all varieties of clothing in their stores. So it's a great time to go and do the war shopping of Eid with them. And let's see. And we have yeah, Saad Yahya and Zoha. Zoha, what do you want to say? An exciting match again between our champions and our uh, Milton Muttakeen team. So let's see what today, what's going to happen today and in this match. And I'm sure Saad and everyone is also very excited. So let's see what happens in round one and round two. Okay, Saad, what do you want to say? Yeah, um, like Zoha said, I'm very excited for this match. The defending champions versus a very strong up-and-coming team mm -hmm. uh, with some good contestants. And uh, I think it'll be a really good match. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, Zoha, you will take this score today and I will work with uh, Saad today, okay? So we have the, this exciting match and we have two teams already, yeah. right? So which team you want to start? Uh, I think we should start with uh, Milton Muttakeen, sponsored by Non Guys. Okay, start with Milton Muttakeen. Computer. How many verses are in the Quran? One, 3,662. Two, 6,362. Three, 6,236. Or four, 6,263. The answer is three, 6,236. 6,236. Revealed on and who is We all know. Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salam, right? So Jibreel alayhi salam comes to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and then he recite that Quran and make sure. And you know that the first time Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, when the first revelation comes to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam very afraid. He was in the Ghari Hira, and Jibreel alayhi salam all of a sudden, so you are, who won't go to Ghari Hira? Anyone go with their parents Ghari Hira yet? You go, you know that how far it is, right? It's, in, on the, so it's too high. far mountain hill, right? And Prophet Sallallahu go every time there, right? And all of a sudden when you are praying, a angel come. You don't know how, oh, where it's come from, right? Anybody, right? So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi also get afraid. And then he said, say. Monk, right? Uh -huh. A Christian monk? Mm -hmm. Who told him that he is the last prophet in Kinta? Okay. So that's, that's what's one of the signs, right? That's, uh, you're right, absolutely, that he is the man who pointing out that he may be the last prophet of the, of the Ummah, right? Of the whole nation, right? And that's, uh, that comes true that when Prophet Sallallahu at the age of 40, the first revolution come and he become the prophets. And then this is a continuous journey on Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that 93 chapters reveal on Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Makkah and and, and I cannot say because I have a question there. So good answer. 
Clap for Hamza as well, please. Okay, so we have two questions right, right? Yes. So they have two marks. Yeah, so now we're going to move over to the Mississauga, uh, yes. Mississauga Moments team sponsored by Quality Care Pharmacy. And uh, Computer, can we get our next question? At what age does a person become an adult in Islam? Is it one, 18 years old, two, 10 years old, three, puberty, or four, 15 years old? Three, puberty. Three, puberty. So as some person may be adult in several ages, right? Like girls are having a different age when they become the adults, and boys have a different age when they become heirs. So that's why the answer is puberty. When the puberty is come, then they become the adults. So remember that. Good answer. <laughs> Okay, next question, computer. Who is one of the four best women of Jannah? Is it one, Asya, wife of Fir'aun? Two, Hajar, wife of Ibrahim, alayhi salam? Three, Aisha, wife of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Or four, Rukaya, the wife of Uthman? Okay. One, why, uh, Asya, wife of Fir'aun. One is the Asya, wife of Fir'aun. That's the great answer for her. Stop. No, these people don't answer. want They're these. Amazing. They're amazing. Yeah. Because yeah. I am thinking that they will give the answer Aisha. Yeah. But they give the Asya. That's correct. Mashallah. It's a difficult, nice, difficult Michelle. question. Nice. Mashallah. Anybody remember what she did? Anybody have a story? Ah, Hamza, I know that. You know everything. But I want somebody else. Anybody want to say something about Asya? Anybody know? Or I will ask Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Uh, she took care of Prophet Musa alayhi salam. She took care of Prophet Musa alayhi salam because that time what happened that Fir'aun saw a dream that a child of Israelites, right, is maybe harms his, right, he harm him, right. So what he say, he announced that any boy born just killed in the Israelites, the, that's the tribe, right, the nation, any boy born just kill them. So mother of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, to secure Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, when he born, he put him in a small, right, uh, uh, what you call, basket. basket, and throw him in the rivers. And that basket amazingly go throughout the rivers and reach it out to, reach it out to the, to the, uh, to the, to the house of Fir'aun. And Hazrat Asya, saw that basket and he loved that child and he wanted to keep it. But Firaun wanted to kill Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. But Hazrat Asya saved him as well. He's just a child. How can he harm? We can raise him. He become a good person, right? So there's a communication there as well. So amazing answer, Ibrahim. Clap for Ibrahim. First round is over, both teams got full points, and uh, I think we're going to start round two with the Mississauga Moments. Okay, so, Mississauga Moments, are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah, come on, clap for Mississauga Moments. Which Prophet, alayhi salam, is mentioned the most in the Quran by name? Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi salam, Prophet Isa, alayhi salam, Prophet Musa, alayhi salam, or Prophet Adam, alayhi salam? Three, Prophet Musa, alayhi salam. Musa, alayhi salam, is mostly mentioned in the Quran, mashallah, right answer. Good answer, Alize and uh, Zaim. And the next team uh, is Humna and Ishal. You have to give the answer, right? To this next question. Okay, computer, the next question, please. What is the linguistic meaning of Ramadan? Is it one, to fast, two, to suffer, three, to burn the sins, or four, to race? The answer is three, to burn the sins. To buns the seed. The correct answer. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. Great answer. Humna and Ishal, you are doing well. That Iman Khartabi said that this month was named Ramadan because it's burned the sin of people with the righteous deed. So we have to remember that this is the month of Ramadan and we all are, face, we are in the Ramadan. Okay? So we have to do the Taravi every day. We ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we will pray because this is the month which is bringing a lot of blessing and happiness. And this is the only month I see that when our family feels so happiness. We are so close to each other. Everybody on the breakfast table because mom is uh, cooking the prathas. 
or Hamza, what do you cook? What do you ask your mom to cook? Oh, um, you cook omelette by yourself? Yeah. Because you don't like my hands omelette or what? I like, like I, I can cook. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Oh. Stop doing Wha Haman, what you ate, man, in the breakfast? Anything other than eggs. Uh, 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 anything other than eggs. First question with Ayan and Ibrahim. The scholars have divided shirk into how many types? Is it one, two, two, three, three, four, or four, five? <laughs> <laughs> One. Can, huh? one, three. No, so one, oh, decide yourself first. Three, no, 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 one, two. Okay, you, this is the final answer is? One, 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 one. one two. the final answer is one, and that is two types of, two types of so major correct. and say minor. And Ibrahim was so confident, I am yeah. saying right. Ayan, <laughs> you're confusing him, man. Oh my God, you're very near, very near to lose the first, mashallah. Give a clap to Ibrahim. <laughs> Ibrahim is the savior of Milton team today. I can tell that. Okay, so the next questions of round two with Hamza and Human. How many chapters or surahs were revealed on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in, in Medina, Medina. which so are also are, known yeah. as Madni surahs. Yep. So is it one thirty-nine, two twenty-four, three ninety-three, or four twenty-one? Yeah, it's four twenty-one. Okay, four twenty-one. That's, that's the, the right answer. Do you yes, think? It is. Are you sure? Okay, that's the right answer. Okay, <laughs> that's the right answer. Twenty-one chapter revealed on Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in Medina, and you know that. Why Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam go to Medina? Why he left Makkah? He, he was born and raised in Makkah, but he go to Medina. Why? Yes, Alize? People said he would support him in Medina and he would unite him. Uh -huh. And the first masjid was built in Medina. Okay, because in Makkah, he was the people are torturing there. Yeah. Persecutions is going on. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, by the will of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, because Prophet cannot leave any city, migrate to anyone, unless... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked it. So by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrated to Medina. Okay? That's the excellent. Give a clap to Alize. Okay. So now we have again another. We have to ask Zoha what's the scoreboard, right? Yeah. That's Zoha, tell us the score. It was a very close call, as you guys probably saw when we were watching the match but it is a tie because they are very well prepared as you can probably tell there was a little bit of confusion going on but i'm glad both of them were able to sort aside their differences and say the right answer uh it is a tie match once again between our running champions and our up-and-coming multi team excellent and amazing job and once again i want to thank our great sponsors who are sponsoring this program non guy uh, of Milton, Khalid Bai, thank you for your sponsoring this program and the Quality Care Pharmacy, Safdar Bai, thank you for your help for uh, organizing this great program and sponsoring this team of Mississauga Moments. And one, inshallah ta'ala, tomorrow we come back again with another exciting episode of Ramzan Quizwiz. Until then, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.